tonight. Cole picked Aubrey up from school and he has a surprise for her. Well, are you are you ready to boogie tonight or what? Yeah. Are you gonna request all the songs we listen to? Yes. You gotta let me just boogie. No. What we doing? Guess what? We're going in the hill world. Yeah, I knew it. I brought you to get your nails done before the dance. I knew it. I knew it. I uh, knew it. I knew I'm, it. That's because I'm the coolest. Let's go. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Aubrey, I'm only getting this done just for you. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. That one. So this is what you guys go to do, huh? Mm -hmm. Be the dad with the freshest nails. Are you gonna get them painted or just no? Oh, yeah. don't don't take it too far. <laughs> and these things are looking good, girl. Thank you for getting me get my nails done. Oh, absolutely. And you getting your nails done? <laughs> I'd only do it for you. Let me see. Ooh. The glitter. You see the glitter? Yeah, you those see are it? cool. I didn't, I didn't get that. You Shirt. guys look nice. It's a little out there. Cute. You look wonderful. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? We're ready. Oh my God, Aubrey, you look so grown up. All right, I got like 3,000. Of course you did. Okay, we gotta go. Love you guys. I'm gonna tickle you. Love you. All right. Love hey, you. Have let's fun. not make him. You look stunning sad. like always. Bye, buddy. Aww. Love you. Are you guys gonna have fun with mom? I'm do anything we're told. We go big, we go bold. Another year in the books. That was pretty good this year. Yeah. There was a lot of people in there. Pretty good music though. Yeah. Are you glad we went? Yes. It was a good time. It was super good time. It was super good. Do you think you're gonna wanna go next year? Or are you too old? No. Oh, you're gonna want to? Yes. All right. Hey, you could always take me till you're 30. That's fine. Go, don't go too far. <laughs> Hi, pumpkin. How was it? How are you putting down, girl? Was it the best one yet? Because we did that. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had a great time, like always. Oh, no. Did you guys slow dance? We sure did. I had a very good time with Colton. You did? I honest to God, like, forget that Cole's not Aubrey's biological dad. He takes time to do stuff with just her and, like, make her feel special. I think it's so important for her to know, like, consistency, because who knows what would happen if she didn't have that, if she didn't have that father figure at all. He does everything he can for her, and that takes, like, a really special person. Lewis has been texting me a lot saying he's sorry and asking me to see Stella. I ignored him at first, but finally told him he could come over tomorrow. No, put your headphones on and watch your iPad. Go to the room. <gasps> They're eating candy, throw it out. What do you mean? Mother. No, mommy. Mommy. Oh, look who's that. Hi, Demma. Hello. Hi, Mama. I got Lucas. Lipstick. No. I got lip dick. <laughs> did you see my lip dick? Oh, that's hilarious. So, did you um, call him? He was like, please talk to me. And I was just like, you know where I live if you want to talk to me. So he's going to come over here tomorrow to talk to me. Oh, my God. I'm furious at him. Oh, I'm enraged. He should have told you, listen, I'm at risk. I've been exposed. Wake up. Wake up. 30 years old, what are you What are you doing? You're not a kid no more. That's mental. I don't mental. think I can forgive him. Yeah, I'm gonna let him know, like, 
No, like, just be here for Stella. Like, I don't want this. That's, this is what's up about it. He doesn't think like that. I know. We'll use that as an excuse so that he could feel you're resenting him so he could stay away and stays out of her life. Exactly. That's what's so toxic about this. He's toxic. I'm not gonna be nice to him no more. I, will, I refuse to be nice to him. And it sucks because she pays the price. And if he's not around for Stella after this, then just leave, just be out of her life completely. Should've never done it in the first place because this was gonna happen, get complicated. I'm just so mad right now. Really mad, Brie. And you can't expect me not to be mad. And I know that you're gonna recover, you're strong, you're gonna get through it, but it's still not fair that you're going through this. that I can move into my space next week. I'm working on getting appointments lined up as soon as it opens. Hello. Hi, is this Emily? Yeah. You still wanted to come in on Saturday? Yes. OK, cool. Yep, I'll see you on the 14th. All right, thank you. Uh-huh, bye-bye. It's a lot of pressure to be the main source of support for everyone, but I'm also ready to begin my career. Will go get your toys? No. So I got the loft space. So I figured that. Um, once I move into my loft that you and my dad can come over there and help me put stuff up and like get it all set up because you know you have to decorate it all your own. It's pretty much like empty yeah. and they repaint it for you like customize like your like paint job like however you want it done. Yeah. They'll do that and they give me like a chair and a shampoo bowl and stuff and then the rest of the stuff I provide for myself. You know I want to work for myself my own loft and kind of run my business a certain way so when I do like in the next year I want to open up like maybe somewhere small like maybe only like three or four chairs and then like maybe two estheticians and have a general manager to run it for me and then me kind of sprawl off from there and like do my own thing yeah and now you have to look for another job yeah and hopefully my parents will get jobs soon but I texted her daycare and let her know that like right now that you don't have a job so you're still, you're gonna have to find one. I figured it'd be cool if you could just watch her for the next few weeks, because there's no sense to pay for daycare, you know, if you're here right now. Yeah. This was saving money since she's not in daycare anymore. I just put a lot of time and effort and energy yeah. into school and going to school and... I'm definitely proud of you. Thanks, I've been doing a lot. I guess I was just really dedicated. You know, I feel like in life there's always things that I feel like I wasn't super passionate about. And I feel like I found like my calling, like my passion, you know? Yeah. Like what makes me happy. But I feel like if I didn't have help, you know, with you and being there and helping me with Chloe. It wouldn't be as easy. Yeah. I feel like I'm really excited. I think this is just like a small stepping stone into, you know, the career that I'm going to build in develop throughout the years. What's best for me is to put all my energy and all my positivity into my job and my, my career. I mean, no one can make no one can make sure I'm successful but me. Give me the kisses. Yay, puppy! Give mommy good sugars. No, like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!